Good morning, welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. My name is Gael and I attend the youth ministry for our church. Today our devotion is in John 15, 1 through 8. John 15, 1 through 8. And it says, I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth much fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bring forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered, and men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit. So shall ye be my disciples. The title of our devotion is, You Don't Got This. You Don't Got This. There is a popular phrase and sentiment going around these days that goes something like, I got this. While it may be okay to exude unbridled confidence when eating a or scoop ice cream cone or playing a game of goldfish with your little brother, it is a completely, di completely different story in a spiritual context. A smartphone is an amazing piece of technology, but without its battery, it is a $600 doorstop or table cluster. The most expensive car on the road today with all of its horsepower and refined engineering is just a hunk of metal, rubber, and leather without its fuel, to s without its fuel source to give it power. Without God, we are like that dream cell phone and empty car. God created us for his glory, but without him, we'll, he, we will always hinder God's work through us. Not to say you can't go through life without him and do things on your own. You can, but, you, but what you do will always be for your glory, not God's. You probably, you probably could find many other uses for a dead smartphone, but it, will never be what, but it will never be what it was intended to be. We need God. We need his power, his direction, his wisdom, and his help. As you go through life, remember, you don't got this. The smartest and most spiritual thing you can do at the beginning of each day is to ask God to give you wisdom, strength, and grace so you can be all he designed you to be. That was a very powerful thought. We need God. We need God wherever we go. We need to, uh, as I encourage you today, you know, we, as we're uh, staying home, we can't go to. Uh, some people can't go to work. Uh, I encourage you to read. I encourage you to uh, read your Bible and pray, because you don't got this, and we need God. And now I'll close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Lord, I pray that every single one, every single person uh, that's watching this got something out of the message, and that it could they could apply it to their lives, Lord. Lord, I pray for this virus that's going on, Lord. Lord, we know that you have it under control, Lord. Lord, I pray that we could come back to church soon, Lord. And I pray for all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye.